Hi everyone, my name's James Ivey and I'm delighted to be here to take this opportunity to show you around this thing down at my feet. This is the new Voice Live 3 by TC Helicon. This thing is absolutely incredible. If you're familiar with previous versions of Voice Live, this is a whole new beast. They've literally picked up the ball, run with it and sent it somewhere off into the next field. Why? Well, if you're familiar with the previous versions, you already know that the vocal effects and the vocal quality were second to none. But with the Voice Live 3, they've really upped their game on the guitar effects. So um, guitar effects process you're familiar with, like the Hall of Fame reverb, the Corona Chorus, Vortex Flanger from TC Electronic, they are all built into this little box down at my feet. So first thing I wanna do is give you a quick sort of tour of the unit, show you how it works, and then we'll go through some of the presets, and then we'll look at this thing's um, party piece, shall we say. So here we are looking down at the front panel, the foot switchable bit, if you like, of the Voice Live 3. Divided up into two sections, we have our control effects control section, um, six foot switchable buttons, which directly link to these six blocks in our main display. Now at the moment we're in blue mode or mic mode, and you can see that by each of these have a little microphone by it. If I hold this button here, we go over into red mode, Red for rock, as I heard someone say once. And you can see we have little guitar icons, now meaning we're in guitar effects mode. So if I click on the delay button, I'm turning on and off the guitar effects. And not, as you can tell, the vocal effects, which is really rather handy. I can scroll up and down through my presets using the preset button. And some of the most important stuff for us guitarists, a very, very high quality tuner. I can also scroll through my presets using the wheel if I want to. And if I want to get in and start editing, I can do. But my favorite button of all is this one over here, the home button. If I get stuck or I'm in a mode that I don't really know or I'm somewhere in the unit I don't really understand, hit home and it will take me back to somewhere I'm familiar with. On the back of this thing, we hit connectivity city. My microphone input, my guitar input, and my guitar through jack. This allows me to send um, my guitar signal off to an extra amplifier if I want to use a real amp. Stereo mini jack for plugging in my iPod or iPad. Monitor in or monitor through for external devices. My headphone jack, and you'll notice I've got this rather natty little cable. This is actually my guitar and headphone jack all in one cable. So if I'm using in-ear monitors like I am now, you can um, just plug those straight in to the Voice Live 3 down the single supplied cable. Nice one, TC. Balanced XLR outputs, which I'm using for the voice in this case. Guitar outs, left and right, my effects sends for the guitar. Foot switch and expression controls if I want it. MIDI I.O. I've then got a USB slot so I can stick a USB pen drive in there to back up all my patches if I want to. Mini USB, which I can hook up to my Mac or PC and go to the TC Helicon voice support website so I can back up my patches or download new patches from online. AC power supply and the power button. But how does it sound? That's the important thing. So what I'll do now is I'll grab a guitar and we'll run through some of the combinations of patches, guitar effects and vocal effects um, with some fairly familiar songs. Any Pink Floyd fans will be happy with this one. And hopefully you'll enjoy the sounds as much as I do. So let's run through some of these presets. So I've got my trusty strap and you can see here, this is the microphone that I'll be singing through. This is the one that's connected up to the Voice Live 3. And obviously this one is the one so you can hear me talk to you and give you some sort of insight into this thing. So let's run through some of the presets and I'll sing through some stuff that you will more than likely recognize. Well, I'm a running down the road, try to loosen my load. I got seven women on my mind. Two the one to owe me one, the ones that stole me one, that she's a friend of mine. There you go, instant eagles. Mama, 
do you think they'll like this song? This is one of my favorites. There's a lot of power down here now, which means we can actually affect the effects. So you can hear on this one, the echo phone, I've got a kind of um, filter kicking in on the delay. So, ha, ha, ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. I like this one a lot. Now we get into the dirty stuff. This is where this thing really kicks in. Um, the amp models in here are superb. A lot of guitar effects processors do super clean or super dirty. This thing does all that valve crunchy warmth as well, and we'll get onto that. But for now, here's some super dirty. But of course, we can add some vocal nastiness to that as well. That really is one of my favorite presets in this thing. Walking around the room, singing stormy weather. Fifty-seven Mount Pleasant Street. Well, it's the same room, everything's different. You can find the sleep. Dream. Okay, so if you too want to sound like Brian the Robot from the adverts... Uh, we won't go any further than that. Further than that. There's a vocal synth down here, so we can turn this thing actually into an instrument. Let's add some effects. And of course, we've got an octave divider. Money, you get back. I'm all right, Jack. Keep your hands up my stack. One of the other nice things um, is I can take my original vocal out of the chain. So I can mute my vocal and just have the effect. So now I can sound like... Don't go change him to try to please me. Because I can change the formant of the voice as well, I can change the actual tone of my voice. So I can sound like Michael Jackson. Hee <laughs> hee! Or go completely the other way and sound like Tinkerbell. Or Popeye. Ah, da, 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 da. But we don't just have to randomly flick through these, we can actually pick them by genre. So if I hit the genre button, and scroll up to rock. Now as I flick through, I'm only gonna pick the patches that have a rock tag on them. So now we've got some Filthy, but we love it. We'll probably hear more from this patch later on, but for now. We don't 
Bit of Stevie Ray. Great sound. Let's go back in time, we can really grunge up these guitar sounds. quite enough of that. Some nice big delays there and some even bigger ones here. Now this patch is okay, but what if we want to get in there and start getting down to the nitty gritty? Maybe it's a bit too clean. So all we have to do is hit guitar, and in the amp section where we are first, and I can obviously I can scroll through and change my different drives. Using the first pot here, I can change my amp type. Get rid of the other effects on this so I can really hear how the amp sounds. So I've changed the type of the amp, but now I can scroll through and change any the EQ settings, pre and post gain, speaker gain, uh, speaker breakup, the low cut. This thing is really, really powerful. Go through the drive setting, I can change the drive style. Let's have some drive and boost. Let's kick some delay in, now I can mess with the delay type. There's my TC flashback. Flashback low fi Hit some drive in there. Yep, I like that. So now all I have to do Hit store, I can change the name if I want to, and it's done. So um, that's a quick tour of the presets and going through some of the stuff I like. Uh, however, I did say I would save the best for last. If I hold down on my guitar mic switcher, I go into purple mode. Now purple mode is the looper. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through building up a loop and how I can use the new loop assist and the new loop modes within the Voice Live 3 to build up a really cool kind of song pattern um, with a kind of verse and a chorus type of idea. So the first thing we need to do for looping is turn on our metronome. Now what you can do of course is route the metronome sound and we can change the sound if we want to. Always more cowbell. We can route that sound only through the in-ears or through your um, headphones or whatever. But in this case, I want you to hear how easy it is um, to build up a loop. Um, and I don't want to sound like some kind of looping genius because quite frankly, I'm really not. So let's leave the kick drum sound on and let's start building up our loop. 
So um, the first part I'm going to record into is part A. And I'm going to kind of put a vocal drum pattern down, like a scat drum pattern. So let's just change the tempo a little bit using tap tempo. And here we go, part one. And you'll see it scrolling through there along the timeline. Now, if I want to, I can stop part A, or I can overdub, and I'm going to overdub a bass line. Now, loop assist is working for me all the time to make sure my loops are absolutely on the money. It's not time stretching the audio, it's just making sure my loops work exactly so I always get a perfect loop. Next thing I want to do is record it to part B. And I'm going to put a kind of a, a guitar pattern down, like a little riff. quite got the money on that so I'm gonna holding it down just undoes what I did previously so now I can just put that back in and get it right hopefully and let's find another patch and put some rhythm guitar down is working to so make sure all my loops work out perfectly. So what I now want to do is go over into part C, hit swap. Find myself a, a nice delayed patch. Okay, let's, let's record the part C. Now I'm in the part C. What I can also do is swap back to part B. And they cue it up behind it so they run in perfect sync. So we're coming to the end of part C, which is longer, it's a separate loop. And I can noodle over that to my heart's content. So let's find another patch to noodle over the top with. And this is where it gets fun. I can now use the guitar and the mic to create a kind of talk box effect. We don't need no education. We don't need no control. Or I can drop any part out I like at any time. Oh, 
vaguely in time. Now what I can really do go back to my utility metronome turn off the metronome go back and play the whole lot now without the metronome. So I hope you liked that look around the Voice Life 3 from TC Helicon. I think this thing is absolutely fantastic. As I say, they've really picked up the game with the guitar effects. I think this thing sounds awesome. Vocal effects, as ever, are just fantastic. This thing has already become part of my effects world, if you like, not only as a guitarist, but also as a drummer. I'm triggering loops, triggering effects, vocal harmonies, things like that, all from here in real time. This thing is absolutely incredible. Hope you enjoyed that. I've been James and I hope to see you again soon for another gear review.